friends, today we're going to be looking at words that end in a consonant and some words that end in a consonant and also add L-E to the end of the word. So some of these words are going to be one syllable and we will not see the L-E at the end. And then we're going to see how that word can be made into two syllables and it adds the L-E at the end. So as we look through these words, be keeping in mind which words you hear that O sound at the end and they have L-E and they are two syllables. So we have lit, little, set, settle, rip, ripple, had, paddle, and then we have middle and bubble that don't offer us that one syllable word to begin with. So as we look, some of these we see just one syllable, like in lit, set, rip, had. Others have that one syllable still in it, and they add more to the word. So they end in a consonant, like lit ends in a T, a T is a consonant, and then it becomes little, we've doubled the T, and we've added that L-E syllable. So you'll notice that we have pad, full. So we have that first syllable and then we have the L-E syllable. <clears throat> so as you look and sort these words, you're going to be sorting them based on if they end in the consonant plus they have that L-E syllable on the end or if they are just a one syllable word. At the bottom, you have some words you're going to rhyme with. Remember, you're going to be using these words as the rhyming words that match what you have down below. For example, number 11 says double. So if I look up here at my choices, I'm going to look and see which one of these words rhymes with double. And as I can see, bubble has the same exact ending with the sounds and the letters. I have U, B, B, L, E, U, B, B, L, E. Double and bubble rhyme. So I would write bubble on the line. Number 12 says saddle. 13 says kit. 14 says kettle, 15 says glad, 16 says pet, 17 says triple, 18 says lip, 19 says riddle, and 20 says riddle. Make sure you double check that you have completed all the blanks and put every word in the correct blank. As you come to the bottom or the back side, we are going to be looking at definitions. So as you look through these words, I'm going to read them again. You have lit, little, set, settle, rip, ripple, had, paddle, middle, and bubble. You're going to be thinking about what these words mean and how to fill them into the sentences. So which word means small? Which word means to tear apart? Which word means made light? Which word means center? Which word means to come to rest? And which word means to row? Now remember, if you are not sure what word goes on the line, skip that one. Each word is only used one time on this page. So if you're not sure which one means center, skip it and come to the next. So you can cross out more words and come to a conclusion about what word fits in this blank after you've crossed off some choices. Number seven, I got a new blank of crayons. Number eight, a breeze made the water blank. Number nine, Jamie wrote notes on his blank of paper. And number 10 says, a blank floated into the air then pop. So again, you're going to want to double check that you put all the words in the correct blank. Make sure that if you skipped any lines, you went back to fill them in after you had crossed off more options. Put your name at the top and turn it in.